Smartphones and tablets are great for watching movies and videos while you're out. But sometimes the screen is just too tiny. Now there are quite a few projectors on the market that work with mobile devices, but usually those conventional pickup projectors don't deliver great image quality. LG has now released the latest high-end portable laser projector, the ProBeam HF80JS, a 2000 lumen, 20,000 hours lasting powerhouse magnifying everything to 120 inches. I'm Steven and in this video, together with Flo, we'll have an in-depth look on all the functionalities and ways you can use such a projector. And in the end, we'll round everything up and show you our own budget projector screen and how to run every projector from a portable battery. The screen itself will cost you roughly 30 bucks and can be made in around one hour. All you need is some wood, a few screws, brackets and hinges and something white. Just visit your local hardware store and grab some wooden slats and arrange them in a 16 by 9 frame, which should be at least 2 meters wide. Also think about the stands and make sure that the vertical slats are long enough to keep your screen high enough above the ground. Depending on how much you want to spend, you can grab some cheap wood or some high quality slats. With steel brackets, you hold everything in place. Just make sure you buy some high quality ones and not some small fragile brackets, otherwise your frame will become loose. So we decided to make the frame foldable, because it was too big for our car. And also it can be stored more easily. This can be achieved with some simple hinges. Now don't forget the screws to hold everything in place. You will just need some simple wood screws, but make sure that they're not too long. Now you need to think about this green material. If you're on a budget, you could use some cotton cloth from home, but you will lose some brightness and you definitely need some kind of background like some cardboard. Project this green material from Amazon with a high gain factor only makes sense if you build a solid frame construction and you plan to use it quite often because it's not very cheap. So we decided to keep this project as simple and cheap as possible to use the project for barbecues or football games in our garden. And if you want to spend a bit more on the screen, the cheapest ones on Amazon ready to use start at 50 bucks. Choosing the right projector for portable and home use can be hard, but I think LG has done everything right with the new LG HF 80JS. The new laser technology allows a single hand grip size, way better efficiency and maximum peak brightness. This projector can reach up to 2000 lumens, which is a lot, but your viewing environment is the deciding factor on how many lumens your projector needs. The new laser technology improves the lamp life a lot, so LG claims 20,000 hours, which is really impressive. Conventional bulbs last on average for only around 2,000 hours, so LG's new laser technology improves the lamp life by factor 10. Resolution-wise, it can output full HD up to 120 inches with a contrast ratio of 150,000 by 1. It's very quiet and has a maximum power consumption of 150 watts in standard mode, making it perfect for our use case. The ProBeam also offers Bluetooth streaming in addition to Miracast for wireless mobile phone mirroring and has a full complement of smart TV features with the company's WebOS on board, which makes internet streaming really easy. All important streaming services are on board and you don't need any external devices. Now, I mainly just use Netflix and Amazon Video like most of the people and both services work well on the projector. We also really like that the projector comes with internal speakers and can also be paired to a Bluetooth sound system. The sound of the internal speakers is great, but in case if you want to have some more bass or 5.1, you can connect it to a sound system using the optical audio out, a 3.5mm connector or simply Bluetooth. For image adjustment, it comes with a unique four corner keystone and vertical auto keystone, which worked really well, but needed some manual tweaking in extreme conditions. For sure, this projector can also be mounted upside down on the ceiling and you can change that in the settings too. It's set top box ready and got two HDMI ports, one optical audio out, one check audio out, two USB, one Ethernet port and Bluetooth. Now, we mainly just used one HDMI port together with our Xbox and also for gaming it's great and delivers a steady frame rate without lags. Another very convenient thing is that you can play back all kinds of media directly from your USB drive. You can show photos, play music and videos from your USB memory with ease. And also share PC compatible PowerPoints, Excel files on the big screen, which makes it perfect for office use. 
In case if you can't use it and want to use wireless mirroring, you can also use wired mirroring and charge your phone at the same time, which is really cool and does not require a huge PC or console near the projector. The projector comes also with a great remote that has a gyroscope included and can be used to easily navigate through webOS or the settings. This feels really convenient and way better than the remotes I've seen on other projectors. The Magic Remote also includes voice search with a pretty good voice detection. All in all, this laser projector looks great. At small, delivers a crisp, high contrast and very bright picture and due to the laser technology, its expected lifetime is way higher than conventional projectors. Although it's not cheap, I think it's a real high quality product and I'll use it in my living room. Now regardless of the HF80 GS being an indoor usage focused projector, its high brightness, small form factor and image quality made us curious on how it will perform outdoors. Let's see. Now the question is, how do you run such a projector from a mobile battery? The easiest way is to grab a car battery and hook it up to a DC to AC voltage converter which you can buy for around 30 bucks from Amazon. Now just make sure it can deliver enough power for your projector. So you should be ready to go. Just put your project on a tripod or on a table and find the correct distance from your screen. The project also got a little zoom adjuster to focus, but you should already know your estimated distance. I have to say it's really convenient to have screen mirroring on this projector because you don't need a notebook when you're on the go. And all the apps like Netflix are already available on Android or they are directly on the project itself. Now that's how you can make any projector portable. Just keep in mind, it only makes sense if you're using a projector that has a low power consumption like the new LG laser projector. Otherwise, you need more batteries or a really huge battery. So there are many portable projectors and you can even build one on your own. But remember, time is money and money is time. And sometimes the money you save isn't worth the time wasted. So keep that in mind and watch out what you buy and think about on how you will use it. So if you like this video, please hit the like button right now and leave us a comment and we're happy to reply as soon as possible. If you haven't, right now is the perfect time to subscribe and there might be a giveaway of this projector very soon, so stay tuned. Also big thanks to LG for providing the projector and making this video possible. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day.